that's my concern, that these two, at least these two women's deaths are linked. And if so, that would be intentional. Now, Dr. Maroney says it could be drugs or alcohol. But to me, if you're targeting someone, that is not an accident. That is intentional. I'm going to refer to this as a crash because this is no accident. I unleash a lawyer is joining me tonight, Jeff Gold, out of Atlanta, also with me, out of Miami, Marla Chikotsky, both veteran defense attorneys. All right, Marla, first to you, what's your defense? Um, I don't think that this was a coincidence. I think that there was alcohol, like Dr. Maroney stated, involved. That's a telltale sign is why people drive off from a scene of an accident because they don't want to leave evidence there. They don't want to make contact Excuse with law me. enforcement because if they do, they're going to be arrested on scene. All right, so you're saying that the person is so drunk they don't realize what they're doing, but that they have enough yeah. wherewithal to know that what they did was wrong and they're evading police. See, you want your cake and you want to eat it too. You can't have the person so drunk, they don't even know they hit somebody, yet they went, ooh, I hit somebody and I don't want the cops to get me. So that argument is a non sequitur. That does not follow. I'm going to give you another shot at it, Marla. But, but first to you, Jeff, go. Let, give me your best defense you've got. Well, first of all, there's no way to say these things are linked. It's just a guess that they're linked. There's no uh, information from the police saying. And second of all, we don't know what was going on with the uh, victim herself. Was she on substances? Was she texting at the time? How did what? the accident happen? She's I a agree. pedestrian. I agree leaving the scene is a problem for this guy no matter what happened. That's clear under Connecticut there law. Is but no we don't know how the accident happened. There is no whatsoever that she was texting. None we don't know whatsoever. what happened. Why are you even saying that? You're, because you're, you don't you're know what happened, the Nancy. Victim. You don't know that. It's just as right, much a guess to say it was let's intentional. Find out. Unleash the lawyers, Marla Chikotsky, Jeff Gold. You know, there have been, there is precedent, Marla, for murder charges where the murder weapon is a vehicle. That is not unheard of. No, Nancy, you're absolutely correct. But what we don't know is whether this area was lit, if, in fact, the driver, what side the victim was walking on. There's too many facts that are unknown at this time to definitely say that he knew with certainty well, that he Well, we're looking at it right body. now. We're, we're, show, show the shot, please, again. The scene of the... There you go. There's the scene of the crime right there. She is within her rights crossing the street, and she is mowed down. And it's not even a busy traffic pattern. It's a very rural area. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm stunned. Okay, to you, Jeff Gold, it's just like using a gun or a knife. It's using a car. Uh, it first came to the forefront in Death by Mercedes, where a woman ran over her husband, who was a dentist, in the Mercedes. It was highly publicized death by Mercedes. Same thing here. I mean, they didn't even slow down. Look, look, there's no, there's no crosswalk over there. Look at where that X is in the middle of the street and she's walking. I'm not saying she's at fault, but we just don't know. This is not a case. Maybe it's as Vinny said. Maybe the father of the baby had something to do oh, with please. it. Maybe no, it, stop, maybe stop. it is something right about, there. about the stop two right individuals. There. The father it's, was still in the restaurant. She walked out ahead of him. Uh, I'm to, not saying that Vinny said it. I'm just <laughs> saying Rusty it's a Hay, possibility. Rusty uh, Hay, collision expert. Rusty, from what we've been told, the guy didn't even slow down. I mean, really? He couldn't tell he hit a person, a human? Well, you know, that's the defense people use in hit and runs all the time. It's really not unusual.